today I find myself on the tops of the Ruahine Ranges and what a beautiful place this is, what a special place. I'm really stoked to be able to hunt the open tops in some pretty good weather so come along. I'm headed guys. I'm gonna be a deer. I'm gonna think like a deer and go and find some sun. <laughs> She's pretty cold up here. That's where I'm headed. Over to the, the sunny side. It's just spectacular. <laughs> so good. spotted uh, my first deer it's a bit he's in of course he's in a good it's a young stag of some sort my wind is going directly to him so I'm gonna try and get up on this little knob and see if I can get a better look at him and if he's uh, if he's a good good stag we'll, um, we'll peg him so he's he's probably only 300 yards away so I just peeled off the top of the hill so I'm not glad so I'm not skylining myself but um yeah, the wind is going straight to him, so I don't think I have that long. So I'm just going to hightail it through here, so we can find a place to sit up and have a look and have a shoot. So exciting! Yeah, he's gone. I think he's gone. But to be honest, he's pretty close, and my wind was going straight to him. He was just down in here. I'll show you. Just down, down the bottom in this little basin on the shingle there. So there was a lot of uh, a lot of tracks coming up across the shingle. So I thought, oh yeah, there's probably a good chance there'll be some deer there. And <laughs> sure enough. Uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is just stick to the plan. Get up to the very top. Put some more clothes on, just man. It's pretty cold up here, and uh, glass those sunny, sunny faces. And yeah, the two areas I looked on uh, the maps, I could actually see animal game trails on the slips from Google Earth. So they are the areas that I am going to target today. But I've only got about an hour and a half of light left, so. Today and tomorrow morning, I target these areas. I was really bummed out during the roar, so I really wanted to hunt the tops here. But uh, now it's not clagged in, so here I am. It was cool to be here. It's magnificent here, it reminds me. It's about the closest to what we can get to the South Island open tops up here, so it's really cool, it's really beautiful. Right, let's go look at some deer. All right, I've just come over the top of the main divide, so I'm gonna glass this area in behind me now for the rest of the night. Yeah, I've got about, I don't know, an hour, uh, half an hour of light before I need to start traveling back down off the top, so see if we can pick something up. Yeah. Okay, I'm glassing right above this area where all the tracks are, but all the, the cam trails going across the hill. But uh, yeah, I haven't picked anything up yet, and uh, I don't have much daylight left. There's a lot of game trails a couple hundred meters below me. Um, so I'm just hoping maybe uh, something walks out and I pick it up. 
Yeah. That other stag that I saw before was um, really, really dark. Almost like he was still, he was still in the rut, going into that winter coat. So a little bit harder to see. But yeah, I'll keep looking. So I'm just uh, moving back down to camp now. It's pretty dark. The camera's actually picking up quite a lot of light, so I'll be just headlamps out in about five minutes. But uh, yeah, I didn't see any more deer. I've only seen one, well, I shouldn't complain. <laughs> I've seen one deer so far, which is uh, cool. So I never come into this area either. So anyway. Back to the hut. Selected a hut tonight. Which is quite luxurious because I was gonna camp up by this tarn. And then I thought, nah, I'm gonna treat myself to a hut for once. Right, good morning. Back on the tops and uh, it's pretty windy today. So, have a look around, but gonna be looking in all the sheltered little areas, which is a little bit hard because I have to get above them. So, don't know, don't know. Deer don't like the wind, so we'll see how we go. But yeah, we'll crack on, we'll crack on. It is cold, man. Top of the world though, on top of the world. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Oh, All right. Up the hill we go. Myself down. <clears throat> right. Just uh, using a bit of cloud to get myself down onto this glassing point. It gives me a pretty good vantage over this area below me, so just hope I can see the cloud covers come over right now. So I'm pretty sure it'll pass again, but. So I'll move down and through here and do some glassing. <coughs> Let's go. It's gotta be, there's gotta be a deer in here, man. It's just, it's just real nice country in here. It's gotta be something, eh? These guns that I don't want to scratch now. <laughs> Let's call it a, a princess rifle. <laughs> Put it down on the rocks, you know, like. <sighs> it's ridiculous. Let's have a nice stable knee rest. I do have to wait for the cloud to clear, but uh, well, hopefully, this isn't for the day. <laughs> I'd be really gutted.
Man, it's just a lot of fog. Just wait for that fog to clear because it's too much. Can't punch through it with the binoculars. Yeah. But there's all tracks along the shingle here as well, guys, so I just something should be out and about. Hopefully. Alright, we'll keep blasting eh? Where are you guys? Show yourselves. And fog. <laughs> Might need to get a little bit further out. I must have had my my blini in my bag with my last deer carrier. I forgot to put it in the wash and put it through the wash. Doesn't smell very good. <laughs> okay, so I just blast all of this here and didn't pick anything up, so I think it's just a bit too windy for them to be on the tops. So if you have a look, there's plenty of tracks. Plenty of tracks down on the shingle here. For deer obviously bed up in the bush. Down and over here. Maybe out onto the speed face here. It's pretty sheltered from the wind over here, but Nothing. So, nothing. So, um, what I'm going to do is move, move across, probably move out of this basin area, up and behind me there. Up and behind me here is just the wind's just absolutely whipping there. So. I don't think there's any point going up there. We move out of this basin, stick to the east side, see if I can pick something up on my face. But the day's getting on a bit, so yeah. So off we go. So I'm going back up to here, all the way back up to that little point top. And then along the tops, along the tops and back out to a different basin. So. Oi. I love this. <laughs> but I love the leather wood, it's tough. All right, let's go. All I picked up is another hunter, way down on the riverbed. The White Power River. So, I wonder if I can range him with my big fan, fine dandy Raven rangefinder. As if I can do it, eh? He's a long way off. I'm gonna have to put the camera down because it's too shaky. Amazing, I got it. He's 2,150 yards away. The thing's sick. I had to use a big rock to, ref to bounce it off. But pretty impressive, man. That's like in the wind, handheld, not on a tripod. It's pretty cool. If I'm really honest, I didn't come all this way and walk all this way up the tops to shoot a deer. I really came for the absolutely stunning scenic views and the beautiful country that the Ruahines offers for hunters. Places like this and experiences like this really are spiritual for me. 
I spend a lot of time with God when I'm in the hills and really enjoy that aspect of my trips. I say that because I'm becoming more and more convinced that there's nothing in the creation, there's nothing in the physical world that can satisfy our hearts and our souls more than the pursuit of the one who created us. And that's really important to me. Sweet. Back down at the car park. It's a big walk. But uh, hey, it was all good. But unfortunately, no deer down. And I didn't even get that stag on camera either. I didn't even really get to have a good look at it myself. I think I skylined myself and sent my wind into his direction. So nothing on the deck this time. But that's okay. Still a very nice, uh, very nice to get to the tops of the Doohennies and not clagged in. So that's quite the treat. So I really enjoyed the terrain, eh? It's pretty beautiful in there. So okay, I'll see you guys on the next one. Catch ya.